book of 1 Samuel, the Bible says that, you remember Hannah was barren. Right. And so before you could ever give birth to anything, praise God, you got to come to your season of barrenness. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. And so what the Lord began to show me, praise God, was that just how it was in the book of 1 Samuel where Hannah was barren. Everybody knows that 2009, everybody said this is a year of birthing. Nine is the number of birthing. You're going to give birth to something. Right, right. Praise God. Yeah, but before we could give birth, there's got to be, uh, the womb has got to be prepared. Yeah. The womb has got to be repositioned. Good. Praise God. The womb has got to get back in order. And so one of the things the Lord has been speaking to me, Dr. Thames, is that there's been a purging. There's, this is a season where the womb is being purged. We're going through detoxification. Yes, we see some things, some dryness here and things are not happening the way we want it to happen, but the earth is going to ring again. It's going to ring again. So one of the things the Lord said to me was that even as he touched Hannah's womb, Hannah was desperate for a son. Yeah. She was desperate for a son. And everybody thinks that, okay, her desperation, oh, she needed a son because Penina had children, right. but Hannah didn't. But the Bible says, as we read that story, God, I believe, was more desperate for a prophet than Hannah was for a son. Yeah. Praise God. And so one of the things that we're going to see happening in this hour, even though the church has gone through many stages of, 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 of being a monument, of being a machine, where people like to be pried up and pumped up, I believe that this is the prophetic and an apostolic hour where God is moving us into a movement. Yeah. Hallelujah. He is shifting us into a, move, a movement so the church will no longer be dead, will no longer be dry. Now, I know that there's a lot of things that is going to go on in between that process, but one of the greatest revival that the world has or will ever see is about to be ushered to the earth, to the earth through this through the church. prophetic church mm -hmm. in this hour. And so what I'm seeing, uh, uh, Dr. Timms, is, praise God, the Bible said in the book of first time that the church had several problems. First of all, there was no open vision. Right. Second of all, it says that the priest was asleep in the time he should have been awake yeah. Yeah. <laughs> come on yeah. the next problem it had it said that praise God it says that the lamp had gone out in the, in the place where the ark of the covenant was supposed to be set up and it also said that the word of God was precious yeah. and that's about several things that was wrong and it's the same thing today where we see that praise God it's like the lamp has gone a little dim and we see some priests, prophets, pastors, bishops, the time when they're supposed to be awake, it's like some of them are asleep. Amen. But I believe just how God brought the prophet Samuel, praise God, in a time when church, that it was dry, God is going to raise up some prophetic Samuels, yeah. praise God, in this hour. So, oh, Shanda Amen, amen, amen. So... It may be dry, it may be dark, it may be hard, yes. but behind the scenes, God's training somebody. He's training. There's somebody right now. Yeah. Right now, tonight, mm -hmm. while you and I are on this network, there's somebody right now. Let me tell you what else the Lord told me. He said, this move is coming. You can almost hear it uh, through the re in the realm of the Spirit. It's coming out of the backside of a wilderness. You can hear this sound coming out of the backside of Africa. It's going to jump out of Africa, out of the African continent, and it's going into the, to the uh, Asian region. So you're going to hear Chinese children. You're going to see Asian, Japanese young children that are coming up with a prophetic voice. Then it's going to come and it's going to hit the Isles of the Sea, which is the, the Caribbean, the Bahamas, Bermuda, Trinidad, all of those nations, islands in there. Then we're going to jump to North America, which is the United States of America, Canada. What I'm saying tonight is going to hit Australia. It's going to hit South America. The Latin, the uh, uh, Hispanic community is being very right now it's coming there's a vibration mm -hmm. Praise God. Praise God. There's, there's, a, there's a pulsation, there's a movement mm -hmm. that's raising up. I'm telling you, Pastor Tims, there are young children, two years old, four years old. I'm seeing it even in the Bahamas, that, that these young children at the age of 10 are getting up out of their sleep and prophesying mm -hmm. and saying, thus says the Lord God Almighty. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the word to the body tonight, as the Lord was speaking it to me, he says, I told you the last time I was on the network, don't count the church out. Right. Because God's got a plan. Mm -hmm. And the plan is coming through this generation. They're not Generation X. They're Generation Excellent. Mm. So, Amen. 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 Hallelujah.